Wounded Ukrainian soldiers relearned intimacy after facing death Sir he and Svetlana Kopushchik got married in January this year. And their son Marko was born in August Sir he joined Ukrainian army the day after invasion and was seriously injured on July 27, 2022, as a result of which he lost both legs and one eye. Kyiv. Two Russian Lancet drones briefly flew over a small house turned military base in northeastern Ukraine, then exploded. Inside, shrapnel pierced the pelvis and thigh of a Ukrainian combat medic who used the callsign Alaska. As the house burned and she was evacuated to safety, Alaska texted her boyfriend, who was serving in a different Ukrainian unit, using the military code for wounded IM-300. This text message marked the beginning of a new chapter in their emotional and physical relationship. An experience faced by many couples in Ukraine. Tens of thousands of Ukrainians have been seriously injured since Russia's invasion in early 2022. Many soldiers return from the front in a wheelchair or needing a prosthesis. Often, injuries are life-changing, including amputations, facial damage, and severe concussions. In public, wounded soldiers are often hailed as heroes. In personal lives, they must navigate the complex ways in which their wounds change bodies, minds, and love lives. Alaska, 30, said of her partner I was in constant pain, on medication and vomiting after the concussion, so I wasn't happy to be around anyone or see anyone, including him. After was injured, it took weeks before was able to leave his post to visit her. And when did, his presence did not always bring the joy expected. We had moments where I wanted to leave. He recalled, the pain was so intense that I even wanted to die by suicide. Olga Rudneva, CEO of Superhumans, a rehabilitation center in western Ukraine, said government data from July showed that 20,000 people, civilians and soldiers, had lost at least one limb since February 2022. The nature of the overwhelming artillery engagement means that other injuries are also common, including burns, shrapnel and gunshot wounds. Alaska's partner remained faithful to her, and four months later they became close again for the first time since she was injured. Almost a year later, he was reassigned to a position further away from the front lines because he was still in severe pain and needed cane to walk. A fellow soldier said he helped heal their relationship by sharing a guide from Resex, an initiative of Veteran Hub, a Kyiv-based nonprofit that develops manuals for soldiers on how to manage their sex lives after severe physical and emotional trauma. The books which also have versions for men-women. Use simple text and illustrations to explain how the genitals work, how injuries can change someone's sexual experience. It warns that medications such as opioids can reduce libido and, for amputees, phantom pain can hinder intimacy. It'd be painful from the very beginning because a simple movement with amputate 